Well, here we are at Ford Abbey and Gardens. The Kennard family welcome people to Ford Abbey. It is a unique house. It was a traditional abbey, as you can possibly see as I pan round here. And the gardens have a, uh, there's a kitchen garden with many aspects. And the interesting thing with the kitchen garden is the mixture of flowers amongst the vegetables. And it is a very much a working uh, kitchen garden. It's very famous for its tulip displays in the spring, but just, just look at the gorgeousness of the gardens here. It's really traditional, slightly old fashioned mixed borders here, and they really are very nice indeed. Daylilies, napita, alliums, dahlias, of course, tr very, very traditional. And as we look across the wall and we can see the abbey there, and just looking across there, we can see the clock tower there. And I'll just pan round to give you an idea of how large it is. 30 acres of gardens. And look at those lovely lawns wandering down to, of course, the lake, which is where we were looking at the fountain. A lot of topiary, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, yew topiary and some beautiful trees that have been planted over a period of many, many years. So if you want to come here, it's in Somerset. Look out for Ford with an E, Abbey, House and Gardens. Look at the daylilies. Oh, I do love a daylily. If you're visiting Ford Abbey in Somerset, you can see a very, very large fountain. And in fact, it's only on twice in a month, sorry, twice in a day, but it's built up with pressure. And in fact, I'm gonna show you around some of the gardens in just a little while. But I'll tell you what, it's worth coming just to see the fountain. And what a traditional pond. And if you look across at the pond, there's lots of people watching, and I'm getting rather wet, but um, it's a lovely lily pond. And in fact, what's fascinating is that the lilies are on the side where the water doesn't drop because they don't like water. And then coming from that, there's a rill that runs through and into this traditional pond that's running across here. And there it is. Oh, I'm getting soaked now with the, with the water. Let's just have a look, quick look at the the bog garden at Ford Abbey. Uh, I'm just giving you a quick glance to take it all in. Lots of astilbies. I noticed they planted canners, which I wouldn't particularly put in as a bog garden. Um, primulas and the hostas are doing really beautifully. And it's rather nice that there's a little stream round that you can follow. You can see the stream there. Look at those hostas, I mean, they're, they're a gorgeous colour. And as I wander just round, let's take a quick look at the astilbies. The iris, we've just come into a position there, looking across at the iris, and the astilbies there in the distance. So if you want to see, and look in the, the far distance, look at those gunnera towering up six to seven feet high. Lots of ferns coming round this way. I tell you what, it's a sheer delight. And if you feel like just resting for a little while, there's seats that you can take it all in. Here we are with the herbaceous borders and we just looked the Hemerocallis, Cosmos, Canna's in the background. As we just looked, some superb herbaceous borders. I keep telling you, it's a great place to come. Mind you, Somerset has so much to offer as well. It's a great county. I think a, a very overlooked county as it's on its way to Devon. There you can see the abbey in the background and looking down, you can see the, the long pond as well. Looking through here, we've got more lilies hanging down those gorgeous ones and lots of uh, very high 
hydrangeas in there and looking into the distance you can see one's nearly six foot high coming round here clematis up tripods dahlias again in fact it's a sheer delight plenty plenty to see plenty of as i said 30 acres here to wander around and there's veronica's yeah, Veronica as we know it, not Hebe, but Veronica's there, standing tall and statemently like. Poor Dabby has got a wonderful rock garden and in fact the nice thing about it is it's got water running all the way through, little, little pools trickling down. And of course, remember it's got a lake at the bottom. And here we are, just wandering down the rock garden. There you can see, uh, yeah. Yuccas in full flower. It's lovely and warm in this section of the garden. We just wander through and we can see as we come down through local stone pathway through and again. Plenty of different plants. I remember my dad trying to get these ferns to grow in his garden. He could never achieve getting them to grow. Perhaps that's because we lived in Essex and they're not ideal. Whereas we're now here in Somerset. And they are, we walk down here towards more herbaceous borders and a glance of the Abbey through there. Absolutely magnificent. There's a smooth door for roses in here. Lots of, uh, lots of plants, plenty of geranium that put up in dry conditions. You can see them growing here. The Bascoms, a few stocks and flocks. Folks are just showing through there with their blue flowers. They're lovely, really good. And Misha in the front there. Walking around here, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. It's a garden that's well worth visiting.